research that I do at UC Riverside examines how witnesses make identification decisions. And I'm talking about the sorts of decisions that witnesses would make in a room like this, where there's a suspect in a lineup, and the police want to know if that suspect is in fact the person who committed the crime, or perhaps not the person who committed the crime. Climate change is the biggest issue facing society today. What climate change means is sea level rise, so think of the impact on our coastal communities. It's an economic impact, think of Hurricane Sandy. It's an impact on food resources. We're gonna have a run on olive oil this summer because of droughts in Spain, for example. And scientists understand that climate change is real and happening, but there's a disjunct between what scientists understand on one hand and what the public understands on the other hand. The kind of research I'm working on looks at different aspects of immigrants of different generations in the United States, their civic engagement, the kinds of policies that get passed in Washington, D.C., but also in various states and localities that relate to immigration. The Asian American population is the fastest growing racial group in the country and in states like California. This is a group that has jumped by leaps and bounds starting in the 1960s, but especially in the past two decades. And yet we don't know much about this population. There's still a big knowledge gap in terms of what this group is about, uh, what, are, what is the different kinds of diversity within the group, and especially when it comes to public policy, what are the kinds of issues that they care about and what are their policy priorities? One of the things that seems to be common in this research is that eyewitness identification procedures bring trade-offs. We know that witnesses sometimes fail to identify the guilty and they sometimes misidentify the innocent. And, and so that really complicates matters. There's nothing, there are no free benefits here. There are trade-offs. And, um, and I think that is something that makes policy decisions a little bit more complicated for the policymakers who have to make those decisions. Much of what we do in our research is trying to understand what the expected outcomes are. How often will witnesses make this response versus how often will they make that response? And one of the things that I think we have to do in this research is to really understand the distinction between the process and the outcomes that arise of that process because they don't always go together in, in simple ways. Right now, students, graduate students and undergraduates from the Earth Sciences Department do about 100 in-class presentations every year. They go into kindergarten classrooms, they go into eighth grade classrooms and do age-appropriate presentations on climate change. We'd like to grow that program. We'd like to have other universities participate in that program so that basically you can't make it through the Riverside school system or even San Bernardino school system without somebody coming in and talking to you about climate change. UCR is a great campus to launch a program like this because it's a campus with a can-do attitude and it's an integral part of the city and community of Riverside which allows us to interact with kindergartners all the way up to senior citizens. The great thing about the University of California Riverside is the kind of cooperation we get from faculty in various disciplines. And that's one of the great strengths here is that people are focused on questions. They're not worried as much about disciplinary boundaries. They want to answer questions and they're willing to reach out and stretch a little bit in terms of the kind of work they do. The thing that makes UCR such a great place to do research is the people. I have great colleagues, they're great students, both undergraduate and graduate students. I feel like I'm part of a great team and that's really what it is that makes UCR such a great place to do my work. <laughs>